Hey, well, that just goes to show that you know, your eyesight uh, may be being affected by what you're eating at home. Not only my eyesight, just my brain in general. Could be, but let's talk about your eyesight, what you okay. eat. Like, for example, carrots. Are they really good for your eyesight? You know, research indicates that the food you eat can actually help protect your eyes from diseases such as macular degeneration and cataracts. So which foods should you include in your diet? Dr. Laura Perrin is an optometrist with the New Jersey Society of Optometric Physicians, and she joins us this morning to talk about foods that will help you improve your vision. Good morning. Good morning. You know what? Mom always told me that I should uh, always grab one of these, you know? Try That's and eat right. a lot of these, a That's carrot, right? right? That's the classic famous saying that carrots mm -hmm. are good for your or carrots are good for your eyes. Are they really? Well, they have a lot of vitamin A, mm -hmm. which helps protect the retina. Really? Yes. So there's <laughs> some truth to it then. Absolutely. All right. So what else then? What else can we eat besides carrots that will prevent cataracts and other diseases? Well, first of all, 22 million Americans are affected by cataracts and macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty high percentage of the population. It's two of the leading causes of vision loss in our country. Mm -hmm. um, major eye studies, one in particular by the National Eye Institute has shown a direct link between good nutrition and prevention of these conditions. We got a lot of food here. So yes. which ones do you want to talk about? Well, let's start let's come off up with here. vitamin A, right? Right. What we're looking for in terms of nutrition for the eyes mm -hmm. are antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. And mm -hmm. these foods include those to a very high degree. So this in particular, this little basket here, has carrot, uh, well, our carrots came from over here, but it has yep. mangoes, sweet potatoes, cantaloupe, apricots, peaches. This is your beta carotene group. Mm -hmm. Very important to protect the eyes. Okay. And this, this is stuff, of course, that you can get in season Absolutely, all year. Like yes. potatoes, of course, cantaloupes, you can get pretty much all yep. season. Peaches are coming in line right. now. Right. These came directly from the store yesterday. Vitamin C, good yeah. for stopping a cold, but also good for your That's eyes. That's right. Great in the winter, but good any time through, mm -hmm. year-round through. So we have strawberries, green peppers, oranges, mm -hmm. grapefruit, tomatoes, very high in vitamin C. And that stops one, particularly, or well, guards against... Well, all of these, again, are antioxidants. Mm -hmm. They're going to protect the retina. They're going to help prevent cataracts. All right. Yep. Let's move to vitamin E. Tough yes, to get, though. E, right? It's not common in foods. Right. We need to go in, in search of certain foods that have vitamin E in them. Mm -hmm. So you have your, your nuts, your pecans, and your almonds, mm -hmm. some wheat germ, and some of the oils have vitamin E in them. Wheat germ, always good on cereals. Excellent. Or in a shake. In and, a and that's right. And they say yeah. if you put a handful of almonds in your in the palm of your hand. That's right. And that's the right portion. That's the right portion for your Daily. heart and your eyes. Yes, absolutely. And it, exactly. A lot of these antioxidants, good for the eyes, but mm -hmm. also good for cardiovascular. Come with me down here as sure. we look at uh, zinc which is also good uh, for helping out, which you get right. like whole food grains, right? Yes, you need whole grains. Again, the wheat germ comes into play, milk. Um, we also included fish oil, which has omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Anti-inflammatories protects the retina. All right. The last one is this basket. What's so important about this okay, one? Okay, this has got to be the, the most important in terms of preventing macular degeneration. The most important. Lutein is included in all these foods mm -hmm. here. Um, and it, lutein is a, a nutrient that you cannot, your body doesn't produce. So you okay. must take it in. Right. We're finding that as people are aging, uh, they're losing that lutein in their maculas, and mm -hmm. it leads to macular degeneration. So you right. want to protect your macula. You want to replace the lutein that's being lost. And we can get that with kale, tangerines, right. collard oranges. greens, broccoli, which yep. a lot of people have, corn, peas, right. and stuff like that, right? Yes, absolutely. Everything you're seeing here. Uh, now, this last part, mm -hmm. spinach has to be the best lutein food. So right? I always tell my patients, lutein, uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to need some of that for, to protect the macula, which we all do, spinach has a lot of lutein in it. So the equivalent, we have two cups of spinach here. Mm -hmm. You would have to have seven cups of green beans. That's a lot of green beans. To match the lutein in the, in the spinach. And this is saying, actually four pounds of so, carrots. So you're saying that this much spinach right. will equal this it's amount of green beans. So think about how much green beans you'd have to eat, how many carrots you'd have to right. eat to get the lutein in spinach. Right. Well, then you make sense then yeah. to have just a, a simple spinach salad with, uh, with, right. with, with dinner. It's great this time of year. Hey, share a carrot with oh, me. Okay. Because we'll all protect our eyes. <laughs> yes. All eat right. right and you'll see right. Eat right and you'll see right. That's right. I like that. I can't even do it any better <laughs> than that. She's Dr. Laura Perrin with the uh, New Jersey Society of uh, Optometric Physicians. We always want to thank you for joining this morning.